<laughs> First round of action, Michael Chevello, Sexy Beast number one, Guy Mezga and Frank Trick with you. Live on HD Net. Hey, uh, I'm a little upset with you guys. Why didn't I get the memo that it was a complete head, uh, shaved head uh, broadcast? <laughs> you disappointed, it's bringing the hair in here. Yeah, guy. I know, I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't get the memo. Switching stance, the outside guy kick from Lima, moves on, Muay Thai clinch and draws a knee between the breasts. Underhooks here. From Ryan Ford. Nice shoulder thrust to the chin from Thor. Wow, Lima looks really relaxed in this position. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised. Usually most Jiu-Jitsu guys in here start panicking Panic, a little bit. Yeah. Lima's very calm. He's very patient. But he's also very good. That's how he's getting his hips away there, though, too. So it's making it a little bit harder to get, you know, get him down. See? Right there. He's end up on top. Yeah. Top position for Lima. Back to his feet now. He'll be looking to plant that knee any opportunity he gets. Sweeps up the leg. Gets a takedown. Inside the half guard now. Top position. Douglas Lima. This is unfamiliar territory for Ford. He's rarely on his back. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen him on his back. I can't remember and all the, all the stuff I try to pick up on him. I don't remember one time of him being on his back at all. So far, four strikes and seven landed for Lima. Two from two for Ford. Lima's going to try and work a submission. Right. Yeah. Puts him inside the close guard. And Ryan Ford get the hands free here, work a little bit of ground and poundage. Lima throws those legs up, and he rips out that right hand like King Arthur pulling the sword out of the stone. Kills the left hand to the side of the head. Right, why is the difference now in Lima compared to the other guys we've seen on the backs tonight? You watch as he pushes the hand down, he's also controlling the head at the same time, at least he did this last series. He'll start to control the head and control the wrist on the opposite side as he's moving along, which gives his legs a lot more positions to move to, armbar, triangle, and the plata. Plus, he's not doing it so much now, but he was. He was moving the hips side to side, and that makes it very difficult to get beat on somebody when they're doing that. So I wonder who the crowd's after. Yeah. <laughs> there is a contingent of the crowd, must be at least 70 or 80 of them, over in behind the neutral corner who are on their feet for Ryan Ford. It is deafening in here. You've got to figure that in his last four fights, Ford had already finished his opponents by now. Right, look at Lima's length. He's got a body triangle reversed on him right now, so there's no yeah. way for Ford to go. He can't move. He can't pass. He's kind of stuck. All he can do is ground a pound. But in reverse, all Lima can do is lay there. He can't really move himself either. No, but he's got this. He's moving, moving position. He's got that He'll left hit. leg in trouble. Nice hammer fist strike there from Ryan Ford. He escapes top position. And the crowd like it. Four. You know, Lima, goes, Lima is doing a very good job of keeping him distance out there. He's doing a good job defending the shots. All Ryan can really do is throw a couple little body shots, a couple shots, nothing telling. And uh, already Lima's, uh, you know, got two submission attempts. One minute 43 remaining. First round of three. Our main event here at MFC 26 Retribution from Edmonton, Canada, live on HD Net. Hammerfist strike between the eyes there from Ryan Ford. Tries to cross with an elbow off the right arm. Close guard here on his back, Douglas Lima. Good elbow from Lima. Looking to crack that clavicle. I'll, I'll tell you something. This, the difference I see uh, with Ford than I normally see in him is usually a more aggressive. I think he's respecting Lima's uh, ability a little bit more. It feels a little bit, it looks like it looks a little off balance, too. You know, might be keeping a little off balance. But Lima's doing a really good job, the old style jets, where he's pushing and pulling in his legs, yeah. so you're, you're, and he's moving his hips side hips to side. Hips to side, yeah, yeah. I you're never in real balance, you got no place to control him. It's like you're chasing, it's just, you're chasing somebody on glass. Yeah, exactly, yeah, good. Put that foot behind the knee, and he'll lock on that body triangle again. No throws the legs up instead, just Douglas Lima. Nice little popping elbow to the eyebrow. Oh, nice. Set up into that triangle. Jeez. Set. That was beautiful. Sleep. Almost, though, huh? He went, he went for a nice high sweep, missed the sweep, and immediately turned over to the arm bar or to the triangle and then got countered out of it. But, man, that was a great setup. That was pretty slick. This kid has really got, got some good stuff. And that's the other thing probably why uh, you know, Ford's a little bit more hesitant, too, is because, uh, you know, this kid's almost getting these submissions. I put elbow. Gonna throw those legs up again here, Douglas Lima. With 14 seconds on the clock here in the first. Trying to pin the arm, Ryan Ford. Lima just bucks him off. Good job. 
He's got used his legs and his hips very well. Yeah, I, I'm impressed. I, you know, to be honest, I mean, I give that, that round to Lima. I agree. You know what? This is why I like copy strike, which will pop up here in a minute. But if you look at it, submission attempts are two yeah, attempts by Lima, and the takedowns are by Lima. So really, if you look at what happened, it was all Lima. Yeah, absolutely. Here's his yeah. heel hook right here. Nice position, turns right back into a freezes arm and does a little back fist. And that's really the best way to, to get yourself to get a guy to loosen up. And it turns the other way to make it go loose. Very smart move. Nice position, gets right up into this triangle, tries to swing it up. Little swing right here, right boom. There, then boom. That was beautiful shot. Here are the stats that Frank was talking about. 15 strikes landed from 22 for Ryan Ford. One from one successful takedown attempts from Lima. 16 from 24 strikes landed. Ford with 30 out of 20 landing strikes on the ground. Lima, 13 out of 19 strikes on the ground. First round unofficially, we are giving away of Douglas Lima. I think this is where Ford needs to turn it up. He needs to go back to the Ford that's aggressive, that, that, that uses ropes like a cheese you know, grater. That's the type yeah. of guy we need to see. He needs to fight tough like a Ford. At the moment, he's just like a Volkswagen. Wow. Oh, no, no, you don't give up his back. Lima takes the back. Oh, and he takes it early. Could this be the beginning of the end for Ryan Ford? Ryan Ford has a unique way of getting out of these positions. I mean, just from pure athletic, ferocious strength, too. So He is so athletic and so strong at the same time that he can bounce out of stuff that yeah. other people are calling. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is like, it would be a, a, a you know, Definitely made a mistake by turning his back. Oh, the arm! Uh, arm the arm! arm. That's it. The arm! That's good night, Irene! Douglas Lima by submission, second round! Wow. He rolled right <laughs> into that. I mean, what a great position. Ford was on his way out, was sliding out of the way from the rear naked choke. He rolled right into a Kimura. He grabbed the arm and went straight. He rolled into an arm bar. That's the guy that understands jiu-jitsu from a high level. Yeah, and, and you know what? This is the type of jiu-jitsu practitioner I like. The guy who goes for the submission. Did you I mean, he kept Ford off balance the whole entire time because he kept moving his hips and going for submission. You see Ford popping his head out. Boom. Look how he controls it with the hips. Rolls it out, gets the leg over. Beautiful. What a great spot. What a great fight that was. Good turn. See, he keeps his legs together up high across that neck, puts his knees off. Here it is sticking through from Ford's corner. You see a little pop. There's that arm. It's already straight as he rolls over, but he's tapping before he even gets his ass down. Douglas Lima was taking that armor home, a souvenir from here in Canada, and a fantastic, aggressive jiu-jitsu performance guy. Oh, absolutely. Like I said, that's the kind of jiu-jitsu I like to watch. Aggressive, kept moving, you know, and, uh, and went for the submissions. That's really the nature of the game. It's the type of jits that'll make you jits. Look to up to Brad Kelly to make it all official. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has ended at 48 seconds of the second round. Your winner by armbar, Douglas.